Hey, did you watch the game last night? Oh yeah, that pass from Marcelli to Provolone? Epic. Halt! Who goes there? Hey, where'd he go? That was the last footage we managed to find of the attack on our cavern outpost. It came without warning, and we couldn't find any trace of the attacker when we got there. He took out some of our top agents. He didn't take anything, and there was no sign of anything having been placed there. We believe this was an intimidation tactic. Whatever the case, my superiors didn't want to waste more agents on this mission. That's where you come in. Excuse me, but why us? We are just a simple group of traveling musicians. Yes, Sivad, we know that's what you call yourselves. The Musicians Troop, or so I'm told. But you and I both know that you and your friends are much more than a simple group of traveling musicians. My agency has done their research, and we know everything about each one of you. Boreas over there managed to rescue hundreds of slaves in the country of Mygol. Unfortunately, this toppled the country's whole economic system, so now they have a reward out for his head. Javelin and Arita are the ones responsible for multiple heists from notably corrupt businesses, and thus have wanted posters in seven different countries. Anna was the princess of a small and moderately obscure country off the coast of Angoria, but was banished for viciously slaughtering the king of a neighboring kingdom. Zurak is a well-known mercenary around the world, famous for getting any job done within a minimal amount of time. For the right price. Savad is a veteran from the Aegishard War, and saved the lives of countless soldiers at the Battle of the Bloodforge. He retired after he found out his emperor had wanted to capture the Bloodforge in order to make more powerful war machines and weapons. Marcus's village was burned down by the Wargrave bandits, and has been doing vigilante work against them and other bandit groups. Treyax has been banned from at least 30 of the 35 or so gladiator arenas on Terras Magna for being too strong and winning through unethical means. It's not my fault that guy didn't see my axe flying toward his head. He really should have been more observant. Andros has been charged in every country on Terras Magna with treason, murder, arson, breaking and entering, robbery, weaponizing cuteness, resisting an officer, contempt of court, forgery, and jaywalking. And Fernando... Actually, we don't really know that much about him. What does he do? Oh, he's just a zombie slayer we picked up two days ago before your agents took us to your base. It's a long story. Okay, then. Anyway, since this attacker took out our best agents, my superiors wanted to put together a team of unofficial agents that would be expendable, but still have a chance against this new threat. So, congratulations. You are now honorary agents of the International Secret Agency. Our agency has been responsible for solving most of the world's government feuds. We help settle differences, solve crimes, arrest criminals. So, you're basically an international diplomatic police force. Yes, you could say that. Director Dominic! One of Dr. Tiburon's experiments blew up in the science sector! Ugh, again? That's the twelfth time this week! Dr. Tiburon is our lead scientist, but sometimes his experiments can get a little... unruly. Dr. Tiburon! Whoo, mama! That curry had quite the kick to it, didn't it? Ah, that's what the problem was. Too much paprika. There we go, good as new! Is he always like this? Some days are better than others. So, what can I do for you? Actually, we have a very important mission we need to get to work on, but if we need anything sciencey done, we'll let you know. Alrighty then, have fun saving the world from yet another sadistic madman! Oh, don't act like that's not all you do at least twice a month, Dominic. So let me get this straight. 
We're being hired by a secret government agency to take down a super-powered bad guy for no reason other than he attacked one of their popsicle stands! Yeah, pretty much. And no one else finds this the least bit suspicious. Treyax, back me up here. Hey, I'm just happy that I'm finally allowed to kill somebody. And did I forget to mention that they have outright said that they only hired us because we are expendable? Boreas, when you get to be in this line of work for a while, you take any chance you get to unleash your pent-up emotions and anger on someone else's face! And or vital organs. Alright, True. We're near the cavern outpost where the attacker was last seen. We're trying to find any clues that might give us a hint as to where the attacker went that the ISA might have missed. Question. How could dozens of highly trained government operatives possibly miss anything? Simple. They didn't have Fernando and Zurok to search for clues. Well, looks like you and me are on detective duty, eh, Fernando? Never mind. Not much in here, is there? Spread out, everyone. We need to find some hint of where the attacker went. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of where he went. Unless the mysterious figure who has me in a painful chokehold right now is not the guy we're looking for! Get him! Where'd they go? Ow! Oh... Ah! Yeah! Oh! Sit, please. Yeah! I said... Sit. Okay, are we just gonna sit here for all eternity, or are you going to tell me why the heck you brought me to this dark and dingy cave? Um, hello? Sprechen Sie English? Can you even speak any sentences that don't involve the word sit? Okay... I'm going to go now. I would not do that if I were you. Oh, so you can say stuff other than... Only way out is by teleporting or flying, both of which I doubt you are able to do. Dang. Oh man, oh man, oh man! Mock is gone and the attacker is gone! This is not good, not good at all! We have a man down, and we already lost the guy that we were looking for in the first place! Who knows where they went? What if the attacker comes back? What if he kills us all? I DON'T WANT TO DIE! What? Thanks, Nando, I needed that. Where the heck could they have gone? Up your nose. I'm serious, Treyax! Well, you did ask. Well, wherever they went, they're long gone now. What even happened? One minute the guy was there, and then, poof, nothing. I don't know, Anna. I've never seen anything like it. Perhaps I can be of assistance? I think I know some people who can help. Welcome to the Rusty Dagger. You brought us to a pub? This is a popular haunt of the Wargrave bandits. I used to work for them. They're even better at keeping tabs on every lowlife, bandit, and criminal on Terrace Magna than the ISA. Man, Marcus went for about a fuse here. Alright, just act natural. And I don't mean the cliché comically unnatural. You all should have experience in places like this. I've had experiences in places like this, but they usually end with bar fights and me getting thrown out. Just try not to attract any attention to yourselves. We would like to speak with Captain Rector, please. <laughs> oh boy, Rector ain't been boss around here for ten years! But then, who's leading the Wargrave bandits? We are. Captain's Frost and Bite! At ease. Oh, I get it. The big guy's Frost because he's the size of a glacier. And the short guy's bite because he's bite size. Actually, I'm frost. He's bite. I'm bite because I will bite. And he's frost because he thought the name sounded cool. Hey! Wait, I thought the Wargrave bandits only had one leader. Why do both of you lead? Well, since we're twins, we decided to share the leadership. And because he equals half a normal person, and I equal three quarters. Hey! Wait, 
You guys are twins? Yep. But how? We're fraternal twins. Our mother was a crocodilian and our father was a frost troll. Yes, I got the rugged good looks and skills and swordsmanship. And I got the brains, marksmanship, and basically any physical prowess whatsoever. Hey! Well, okay. I trust the Wargrave bandits still keep an eye on all the criminals of Terrace Magna? Oh, absolutely! Why, we're only the best at it! What do you know about a guy with a metal claw in a black cloak? Tall, mysterious, teleports around? Quite a lot, actually. His name is Darkstone. At least that's what everyone calls him. He shows up for a fight, kicks the other guy's sorry behind, and disappears. He's pretty much a legend among bandits. Great. So we know what his name is, but where does he live? Phil? Darkstone's current residence is a small boarded up cave overlooking the Mavelic Ocean. Then that's where we need to go! Let's go, troop! Excitable bunch, aren't they? Yep. Might get themselves killed though, trying to fight Darkstone. Yep. You want to take a whack at defeating one of the most legendary beings on Terrus Magna? You know it, brother! You want to know why I brought you here? Why I bothered coming to this cave? It's because this is where it all started. A long time ago, I was a young Igishardian named Draxton. I knew a young scout by the name of Dolan, and he was my best friend. We had found this cave while running away from home, as young ones sometimes do. We like to think of it as our secret lair. We had big plans for our future, and often fantasized about what we would do if we had the power to change the world. One day, Dolan told me that the Emperor of Aegishard was calling his soldiers to war. He asked me if I would like to join the army to fight for Aegishard. I accepted. When we got to the army, Dolan began to soar through the ranks while I remained a foot soldier. I guess I wasn't as aggressive as he was. Before long, Dolan was the captain of my regiment. We were still friends, but I began to notice something off about him. He seemed more angry, twisted. I imagine that the generals had made him go through some conditioning to make him more likely to win battles. At any cost. In any case, Dolan and I, along with many other regiments, took part in a battle that would later become known as the Battle of the Blood Forge. Originally, the place had been known as the Myth Forge. They renamed it specifically for all the blood that was lost in that battle. When it was over, Dolan told the survivors in our regiment that we had won. The Myth Forge was ours. The soldiers didn't like the fact that this battle was just for a place to make weapons. We argued with Dolan. He called us traitors and sympathizers with the enemy. He attacked us. He nearly killed the remaining members of our regiment before I managed to get Dolan to chase me so that I could let the others escape. I led him to the upper level, overlooking the sea. We fought. I got sloppy. One kick and him forcing my grip off of the edge was all it took to get me into the water. When I woke up, I was in a large hallway. A man appeared in front of me. He didn't speak. He just gestured for me to follow him. He led me to a black and silver statue with a large sword. He gestured for me to remove the blade. I lost consciousness again. When I woke up again, I had changed. I learned that Dolan had been stripped of his rank and banished from Aegishard for attempting to kill his own soldiers. As far as they knew, I was dead. But Dolan was still alive somewhere. And I had to find him. So I became stronger learning techniques long forgotten. I became Darkstone, a wanderer, traveling across Terrace Magna as I searched for my friend turned enemy. I thought that I would never find him, until I did. Well, that was a very nice story, but what does any of that have to do with me? Let me finish. Anyway, around two weeks ago, I discovered from a friend of mine that Dolan had taken over the Wargrave bandits under the name Rector and led them on just one raid. The one that destroyed your village. What? Yes. Then, over the past ten years, he has built up his own organization. One that gave him the power to change the world like we had talked about when we were younger. The ISA. Wait, weren't they the guys who... You mean... Yes, Marcus. Dominic, formerly known as Dolan, destroyed your village. Director Dominic, the agents are ready to go. 
Excellent. Send the word to move out. All right, Draxton. I know where you're going. And maybe this time, I'll be able to kill you. For real. Wait! Do we actually know which small, boarded-up cave overlooking the Mavelic Ocean this guy could be in? I mean, we've traveled all over, and we've seen tons of those. Finally! But there's nobody here. Dang it! We're in the wrong cave again! Wait, wait! I found something! Troop, if you find this, the attacker's name is Draxton, now known as Darkstone. He is taking me to the Blood Forge to confront Dominic. Now I know this sounds crazy, but Dominic is not who you think he is. He led the Wargrave bandits under the name Rector on the raid that destroyed my village. Before that, he was a captain in the Aegisardian army named Dolan. He created the ISA to have all the power over every country on Terrace Magna. Head over to the Blood Forge so we can take down Dolan together. What? Tawist! Not now, Phil. <laughs> This is the ISA. Come out of the Blood Forge with your hands in the air and no one gets hurt. Come out of the Blood Forge with your hands in the air. <gasps> Alright then! Fire! Mommy! Come back, you cowards! Yoo-hoo! Over here! Hello! This way! Getting warmer! Oh no... Surprise, sucker! Mm -hmm. Well, that can't be good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely not good! <laughs> Time to finish the job. <laughs> no. I am Marcus, new wielder of the Angelic Blade, and I have three words for you, Dolan. You done goofed no no <laughs> you done yet no If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. Let's see how you like it, you son of a banshee! No! Well, to celebrate being not viciously killed by an egotistical, super-powered maniac, I say three drinks of the Rusty Dagger! On us! Yeah! Us includes you, Frost. Ah. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm just so sad about Draxon. I mean, he saved my life, but lost his in the process. How do you even handle something like that? Yeah, well, he probably survived somehow and is washed up on a beach somewhere. What? Isn't that how these types of things work?
<sighs> Gentlemen, it has come to my attention that there is now a vacancy for the office of director of the ISA. Since there are no willing volunteers, I nominate myself for this burdensome role. All in favor? Good, then it's unanimous. First order of business, making an automatic pie machine! I'm recording. Shut up.